Welcome, LP Master 6! Last time, we finished the game, and I did everything there was to do in the single player, including getting up to 139 Pokemon. I told you everybody I was going to evolve before, and I did it by grinding in Cerulean Cave and maybe cheating in a few rare candies and not being able to get rid of them to be perfectly honest, but I worked it all out. Either way, it doesn't make a difference to you because you didn't have to sit there and watch me grind in Cerulean Cave for hours like I have done every other time I played the game. But... Who the hell would not want to watch that anyway? Yeah, exactly. We have our final battle coming up with <laughs> Galen. <laughs> yes. But before we get the into rival. that... The rival. The final appearance. I promised I was going to go over some theory regarding Ditto. Now this is a fun one. Sorry, I forgot to put my phone on silent. That's okay, it's a bonus video anyway. How many people watch these? Uh, there is a huge theory that's been going around for forever. That Ditto is actually a failed clone of Mew. And that's why it's in the Pokemon Mansion. Where they cloned Mew into Mew 2. I mean, uh, Mew and Ditto are the only two Pokemon that can learn Transform. Naturally. They're similar-ish colors. They're similar colors. The damning evidence there is that their shinies are both the same shade of blue. But that could... That's also coincidental, but it adds to the theory, in my opinion. Yeah, I don't think it was intentional. I think it's just a fun coincidence. Oh, yeah, it's a very fun coincidence. It's the fact that they weigh similar. They are, they're similar heights. Uh, they're found in the Pokemon Mansion. and Ditto are found in the Pokemon Mansion and uh, Cerulean Cave in yellow. Or is it... Uh, no, in red and... Red, red blue, and blue, green, and yellow, I think. It, yeah, I, I, it's one of the games that they're not in Cer Cerulean Cave. Oh, no, it's probably yellow. Um, I don't think I saw any. Yeah, regardless... But, uh, regardless... Uh, it's just a fun theory, but it's a very... It's one of the few fan theories that I hold as uh, semi-canon. Uh, personally, I did until re realizing that Ditto is not in Pokemon Mansion in red and blue and it's just in random routes. I don't think it was intentional at all and the developers Inten said, Oh, well that's fun, but no. Intentional? Hell no. Uh, but... Hey, I think it adds to the lore of the world, and that's all that matters to me. Also, I forgot to mention, don't run from the legendaries. The... Uh, I had a playthrough in 2017 of Yellow on my actual Game Boy before the save batteries died. And I got up to Mewtwo, and my box was full. So I ran from Mewtwo, <laughs> walked out of the cave... Walked all the way back and Mewtwo was gone. I remember you messaging me about this. I ruined my entire save data and I was very I remember mad. this. I remember how pissed you were. I was at work and I got that message and I died laughing because you didn't know. I have bad luck with Mewtwo in every single Pokemon game Mewtwo appears in. I have a story of how something went wrong when I encountered Mewtwo, but... I've got a couple neat facts, but we'll save those for a little bit. Uh, it's I time, Galen. I need to reply to this message real Jeez. fast. While he does that, actually, instead of cutting away... Uh, did you know gaming? I watched a video by them lately, of course, uh, that I hadn't watched before, that mentioned some facts I'd never heard before. And I didn't read anywhere oh, when the, researching this was game. Was this the Legendary um, video that just came out recently? No. No, it was a video that came out within the last year, so I hadn't watched it. Ah. Uh, I finally did watch all of their videos in only a span of a couple months, so I'm full of neat facts right now. But, uh, originally, uh, Tajiri wanted there to be 65,353 versions of Pokemon. You would buy what? the one cartridge, just called Pokemon, and it would be randomized. Upon turning oh. it on for the first time. Because 65,353, I think that's the right number. I, uh, I wrote that off of memory. That it, that's, that's, that sounds right. It's, yeah. It is a combination of those numbers. I can't, I'm not sure if the yeah. position are right. Yeah, I know it's 65,000 something. 65,000, uh, it's either 553 or 535, and I yeah. think it's 535. Well, either way, it's uh, 
the maximum number you can get in hexadecimal, which uh, Pokemon games are written in. And uh, there were going to be randomized towns and dungeons and like what Pokemon would show up and which ones wouldn't. So you'd have to trade with your friends and every time you played the game, it'd be a completely different experience. I don't know how that would have worked with like NPCs and text and everything with the towns. Maybe they would have ended up making the towns the same, but all the routes and dungeons completely different layouts. It basically, I mean, it would have been more similar to a roguelike, but... I think I'm glad we I, got the version we got. It's more so um, cohesive I actually that have way. Some, I actually have something to point out here. So recently... Um, you can press this, the button whenever you're ready. Yeah, you this know. hack has been um, blowing up uh, called Emerald Rogue. And it's a it's a. Remember, hack. I have to press it. Right. Yes, you're right. <laughs> you're right. Hands off the controller. <laughs> um... Yeah, so Emerald Rogue, and it is a roguelike, uh, it's a Pokemon Emerald, but it's a roguelike, and it's a really fucking impressive hack. Like, not even gonna, definitely not, uh, knocking that, but I just really feel that Pokemon, I played it, I feel like Pokemon doesn't really work as a roguelike. Yeah, I think they made the right now, call. Now, I know that this is insane, coming from someone whose favorite s series is... One of my favorite series is uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, <laughs> but... Oh, I forgot to see who I was leading with, but okay, Vesper's fine. I'm cool with this. Uh, let's just go for it. I don't see why not. And I bet you get a crit. You totally did! Yeah, so... Uh, oh my god! You killed me?! Yeah, so Persian has a 99... 90, I think it's 93.7% chance to crit with Slash. Oh my god, I'm so mad. My ace is gone already. Alright, here we go, Machamp. You got this. I wanna... Also, I leveled up everybody to level 50. <laughs> Please, for the love of god. There's no way you kill me. Oh, thank god. Uh, one last neat fact. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, that didn't yeah. kill me? I'm surprised. Uh, I'm not all that surprised. What Lo the fuck? Low kick doesn't have that much power. Wait, did you see what it said on your screen? What? It said it, it said enemy Vesper used Hyper Beam. It missed instead of Vesper must recharge. Oh, I didn't think about that. That's weird. That's oh, this very, lag is so bad. That's very interesting. The audio lag. Uh, but the last neat fact I have for you guys is, uh, it's come full circle. Everybody knows now that uh, red and blue were chosen because of the American flag. Wait, really? You need to watch my videos, damn it. But actually, Tajiri originally wanted to do red and blue before changing it to green at the last minute. So it was originally going to be a lot less confusing. What was it, what, what, why did they do red, blue, and green? <laughs> what red, red, blue, and green then? Were they trying to do the Mexican flag? <laughs> <laughs> At least I think the. Oh, wait, no. It's red, think, white, and green. There's a flag that. I'm has, racist. Yeah, you're right. You fucked up. <laughs> you don't know culture. Uh, I don't know what to do. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Show off the hyper beam glitch? I don't even know what you're talking about. Oh, the fact that if you knock out a Pokemon with Hyper Beam, it doesn't have to recharge? Oh yeah, I, I found that out. <laughs> with Lance? No, with Cheater. When I was grinding money for Porygon, <laughs> I brought Cheater into the Elite Four. It was the funniest thing ever. <laughs> I'm gonna have to watch that now. Holy also, shit. I used the last two legal rare candies on Cheater, so I didn't have to waste hours leveling them up. Oh god, how much does this do? Uh, I'm sorry, um, on your screen... What? On his screen, I haven't taken any damage. Yeah, on your... On my screen, you came out after your the attack had already resolved on your screen. I have I a was... feeling the game's gonna crash, but whatever. Yeah. yeah. Also, I don't have a recharge turn. Okay. Uh, you... Um, We're playing different fucking games now. <laughs> This might actually be a relic of what, uh, because originally Nintendo demanded that, uh, they, they said they were gonna withdraw from the game 
if they didn't add multiplayer battles. So Game Freak responded by adding battles where the Pokemon were controlled by AI. Nintendo said this is garbage. You make it work or this game's not coming out. Okay, so we seem to have, like, synced back up a little bit? Uh... Yeah, critical hit. Yeah, okay, I think so. I think we're good. You are decimating me. Okay. Do want to point out, uh, remember everybody, he cheated? He would have still won if he had actually played the game normally. In fact, he probably would have, he would win even harder. But, yes. just want to give myself a little bit of credit now. Yeah. Fuck. Uh, this is the team that I was going to build if I had played the game normally. Uh, God, I love I love Blastoise's blue sprite. Holy shit! <laughs> oh, that's a chunky fellow. Sorry, you guys can't see it, but I actually put it on the screen. Um, no, I can't do that. <laughs> this is Movie Maker. Movie Maker crashes if I have files that are too big. How sad is that? It's a video editor. You have a three-hour file, it can't handle it. Okay. He's got four Pokemon, and we have... four Pokemon? Go! But... Suhilo! Oh no. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, uh, I'm scared. Every single Jolteon in the game that we've encountered so far has... Pin Missile. Of course he has been the missile. It's so, the only worthwhile bug move in the game on Jolteon. Yeah, so I don't want to send out Bulby. Char is flying. I hate that Char is flying. Oh, shit. I kind of got you backed into a corner. You here, do have I? me backed into a corner. God damn. All right. Oh, and there's a cat that just walked in the room. Please hold everyone. Here you go. David's paralyzed! It may not attack. This is why I don't hold commentary, guys. <laughs> I was gonna cut that out, but your sad commentary just really... Uh... Yeah, there's no way you're out speeding. <laughs> yeah, no. I'm totally... Wow, good. that is some flashing! <sighs> Another plus to... Oh! Oh! No! I can only hope that you miss. One and two fifty six much? No. Nope. No. How many times do you see that that happen? A good few, like I always do. Usually on my end, of course. Oh, of course it's on your end. Well, I'm fucked. I'm completely fucked. Jolteon is the bane of our existence. And of course, Galen handled his, handled, handles it better than the AI. No surprise there, but still. Yeah, you touch a Bulbasaur Solar Beam? Ew. Well, it doesn't feel right not to. I would t teach Blastoise Hydro Pump, but I think it learns it at like level 55 instead of it being a TM. Okay, that felt good. Well, he might actually have a chance here. Wait, Maybe. did you miss? Yes. Again? Oh my god. Huh. Oh my god, we might actually win! Probably not. Don't get your hopes up. Because he has a Pokemon that is very scary to me. Yes. The legacy of Blackthorn. Come forth! Draco! Yeah, he... Uh, I, I forgot to change the name. Yeah, he erased his Gengar and... <laughs> used Spectre instead... Or, and put Dragonite in its place. So, there we go. What do I want? None of this is good. Well... Oh! I should've known. Gonna use the broken-ass Blizzard of Gen 1. Oh my god. <sighs> yeah, Blizzard and Dig, uh, <laughs> they get downgraded so much late in later games. Dig actually, so Dig actually never changed power, it's just the game changed around it. No, it did. Did it? Yeah, it goes down to like 75 that's 80. in Gen 2. Oh, that's right. It is 80. It's 100 in Gen 1. Is it? Yeah, we I did this not... last recording. I did not know that. Okay. Well. Do I want... I, I guess I'll waste another turn. Why not? 
Wait, what did you use? Oh, you used Blizzard, duh. And he doesn't have to recharge. Wonderful. Yeah, uh, I don't know if you've noticed, but I haven't had to recharge except the very first time. Yeah. <laughs> um, and right. only one of those was because of a faint. There is no way he doesn't have thunder. Just like old Lance. Yeah, I gotta move that Lance doesn't have to, so... Uh, how is flying against dragon? Uh, normally effective. That's what I thought. Because fire's not In very this effective, generation, right? only, uh, dragon only resists fire, oh, ice, no, yeah, water, it would... grass, and electric. Yeah, I remember, because it's the four starter types. Yeah, because, it, because Lance was meant to be the, oh my god, you're faster than me. That honestly doesn't surprise me. But yeah, uh, fly, uh, dragon was meant to be like, Lance was meant to be like the ultimate trainer. Well, he's definitely the hardest fight in the game. Until we simulate the Professor Oak fight. Because, sorry guys, I looked at all the glitches. And I decided there's not that many worthwhile glitches in yellow. We'll focus more on glitches in red and blue. Because, uh, don't worry, I know commenters have wanted to see that. Fuck. Yeah, I'm completely backed into a corner. And I'm not happy about this. Thunder missed. That's a glitch, no, actually. I don't think it can hit you in the sky in Gen 1. Oh, okay. Yeah, because, you know, it would make sense to... What? I'm sorry, why did that... Did I get a crit the first time? Yes. Okay, I didn't notice that. Yeah, no, uh... Thunder's meant to uh, bypass the accuracy check. Uh, when the target is flying. Uh, yeah, that's Gen 2 and later, if it's even in Gen 2. It is in Gen 2. Alright. Uh, oh, hello. Why didn't I think of this before? Probably because you're going to outspeed me and kill me in one hit. Or not. Okay. You know, I forgot you hadn't even sent out Char yet. We didn't get to do Char versus Ch We sure the fuck didn't, did we? Oh! Oh, because you're flying! I was like, why the fuck is that super... F I forgot you still had Alakazam, and I'm a little upset right now. Just a little upset. Fuck. Huh? Well, I might as well just do whatever. Never actually gotten to use an Alakazam in Gen 1. Really? Oh, because of trading? Yeah. I screen peeked and discovered we survived early, so no big reaction from me. I am surprised, though. I am too. Oh god. But it's over. Yeah. After wow. all, I am the true champion of the Kanto region. Well, he kicked my ass and I'm not surprised whatsoever. A much better player than I. However, he is about to play the role of the AI. Because I tried for hours to get the Professor Oak fight to work. It won't. I can attest to this because he, he was talking to me for most of the time. There are game shark codes to override trainers and wild Pokemon with Professor Oak. They only actually give Professor Oak's program team if you fight somebody in Cerulean Gym. I would what have the to. Fuck is up with Cerulean Gym? Like holy shit! No clue. <laughs> like, no. like no, for real though. Um, I, I could have spent. It would have taken at least two hours to reprogram every stat of every one of his Pokemon and turn it into a wild encounter anywhere I wanted, but that would have been very unpleasant and time-consuming, so I didn't do that. So I, we hacked in Professor Oak's exact team, moves, levels, and all, and he is going to act as the AI. Hey guys, we're My back. Bad. We're in Coliseum now after a forced 30 minute break of the game deleting his Pokemon, and I we had to go back and edit them in, and uh, then we had some trouble connecting to each other. Stop talking. That's a bit rude, but okay. Stop talking to me on your screen. Uh, instead of the... You know what it says. It says exclamation point. <laughs> instead of the Professor Oak battle, we'll do that in a minute. We already got set up for... A bit of a ridiculous illegal battle. I thought this might be a little fun. Jizzy Jr. and Terry! <laughs> yeah, that's right, guys. I forgot to increase Jizzy Jr.'s level. <laughs> okay, I'll make it fair then. Alright, here we go. Oh man, that makes Seismic Toss worthless. And it makes Fissure worthless too, because it can't hit. 
Oh god. Well, here we go. I don't want bar! Oh my god. <laughs> we both had explosion. <laughs> oh, I love fucking with these games. It's so fun. Alright. Terry the Tangela. Terry the Tangela. Right. BDG. It's time for the love ultimate you. jizzer. Brought up to his fullest potential that this generation allows. Let's take a look at our move set here. I haven't even shown Galen the move set. We I, have I've these seen, moves. I've seen the move set. I thought you weren't looking when I changed it. Let's go for it. Um, what? It's because it's a set damage move, isn't it? Oh, yeah, Seismic Toss uh, bypasses type. Uh, the other version of it doesn't. Nightshade. Nightshade doesn't bypass type, but size. Oh yeah, because does. fuck ghost types, right? Got it. Yeah. No, exactly. Here we go. You got this. Jesus. Come on, ghost back. Uh, uh you you are not going down to this. He does not get same type attack bonus. You've got this. Damn, we have a lot of HP. Did you did you just say say same type attack bonus instead of saying stab? Yeah, because I'm not a nerd actually. Hey. hey. Can the Jizzer take out the Riddler? <laughs> what is it? Oh, that's right. We already saw it. Duh. Uh, oh, I want to go for guillotine, but sure know how to drop that guillotine on me. Don't go. Don't for, go for guillotine yet. Fuck it. Okay. <laughs> oh, you son of a bitch! <laughs> Oh my god! Also, I forgot about Horn Drill. Oh yeah, Horn Drill, another uh, uh, one-hit KO move. What do we want to do? What do we want to do? Let's go for it. Oh my god! We both lose. It, what, what happens? What does it say in a tie in Gen 1? Does it count me? Yeah! We- wait, we do both lose! Yes. We, on his screen it said you lose. Because- it's because of the order of the feigning. Yeah, Because okay. on my screen, uh, <laughs> Rapidash goes down first, and on your screen, I go down second. I should've used Cheater. What's wrong with me? Oh well. Uh. That was fun. That was fun. Okay, we'll see you for the Professor Oak battle. Everyone, it is finally time. No, it's not. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Everyone, it is finally time. I hit I'd... the L button. Sorry about oh, that. Oh, okay. I was wondering why it went without me pressing A. It is not time. Everyone, it is finally time for the Professor Oak simulation battle. No, it's not. It's really not. Everyone, it is <laughs> finally time for the Professor Oak simulation... Why? MGBA, please! Oh. Everyone? <laughs> ah! I didn't touch anything! Yay! Everyone! No! We are doing the Professor Oak simulation battle! As prophesized. With a lot of emulator troubles. Alright, here's my team, my final team for the final super boss that should have been. I'm going to lead with David because I know what Professor Oak leads with. And Galen here is going to emulate the Gen 1 AI for us here. Professor Oak is programmed without items. He only has five Pokemon. But his levels are very high. And we're only level 50. And we're only level 50 because I used some rare candies just to even the playing field. Here we go. Items can't be used here. Items can't be used here. I just hadn't shown that yet, so I wanted to. All right. We're gonna do what's best. <laughs> Are you trying to do what the AI would do? No, I'm actually trying to play. So you use Leer? Okay. Hmm. I'm doing my best oh! with the absolutely shit movesets that I have. Oh! Damn it. If I can be Professor Oak, I'm going to feel so good about myself. Uh, oh! Please kill him, please kill him, please kill him, please kill him, please kill him. Ice cream, Pete, it kills him. 
All right, four to go. Oh man, and we're in hard mode too, because we're in set, not shift. All right, uh, we're gonna let David die actually. Oh, if I'm trying to do like the AI, I should wait. Wow, you're faster than I me. cannot believe it. Oh, because I don't have EVs. Oh, that's right. <laughs> you just have no sense. You want me to act like the AI or not? I know. <laughs> it's a psychic type move. It's funny. Well, goodbye, David. Shout out to my friend David, who refused to be in this playthrough. He watched some of it, though, and found out I named a Pokemon after him. I didn't even tell him. Alright. Well, I think the choice is clear here. That was a surprisingly good impression. You know, we haven't used Flamethrower once since we got it. Wait, really? I used Fire Blast instead. I haven't missed with Fire Blast yet. That's because it was... Still 85 accuracy. Still a decent chance to hit with it. Ooh, I'll let you pick. Which one? You know what? Fuck that. I'm going with Fire Blast. This is going to be the first time it misses. I know it. Damn! Like, Thunder misses way more than Fire Blast. And they're the same fucking move, just different types. Alright. Wow, that... Uh, <laughs> Professor Oak's Executor, by the way, only has three moves. Stomp, Barrage, and Hypnosis. That feels good. I just wish we were getting experience. All right, the most is his ace. Yeah, the most powerful Pokemon coded into the game is Professor Oak's level seventy Gyarados. Oh, I should have brought in Mewtwo. You know what? No, we have earned this. Uh, yeah. Oh wait, I, I I need to stop choosing my move before you go. <laughs> That's true. Because, <laughs> you know, the AI cheats. Yeah, the AI we actually go. selects Come their... on, Pikachu's most powerful move against the most powerful Pokemon in the game, and it is quite effective. Please kill it in one hit. Please, it would make my day. It's Dab's sad, Pikachu. but... Whatever. We got this. Cats, you're not ruining this moment. Stop! Okay, well, I kind of wish Professor Oak's moveset wasn't so underwhelming. I mean, Gyarados' wasn't terrible. Yeah, no, Gyarados is okay. Uh, yeah, let's just leave Fabric, I guess. Why not? Fabric faints, big deal. We haven't had a single Pokemon except David go down. Ember. The treatment of fire types learn sets in this generation is god-awful. It's unforgivable. The fact you don't learn Flamethrower on Charizard until, like, level... 44. Yeah. Why? I had Ember, and that was it. Until Fire Blast from Blaine. That was sad. That was pathetic. So what do you do when you choose Charizard as a starter? Huh? What do you do when you have Charizard as a starter? For fire moves, do you just have Ember until Blaine? Is that it? Um, oh, well, that fire spin's not so... terrible in. Um... <laughs> you used Roar. I choosing moves at random because no move is super effective. Is that really how they work? Yeah, Gen one, pretty much. There are there are minutia, but uh, that's essentially how it works. Okay, hold on, guys. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's not that bad when you have a Charizard, mainly because uh, you get Wing Attack right around the time Ember is no longer really worth using, you know? Withdrawal has 61 PP. <laughs> What? Withdrawal has 61 PP. Jesus Christ. Uh, we gave it the max PP a player can have to simulate the fact that, you know... The AI doesn't... The AI has infinite PP on every move. Which actually didn't become a problem, surprisingly. You know what? 
We're not gonna have Blastoise versus Blastoise. No, you can go for fuck's sake! What? <sighs> what? Why? I cannot play like the AI if you if you continue playing like this. <laughs> I chose my move because of Blastoise. That's okay. The AI's not very good anyway, and you know it. Uh, yeah, The obviously. AI is only good because it cheats. I forgot about Bulby. Bulby has not been nearly as useful as I thought. But I chose Blastoise because Bulbasaur is my favorite starter. And... Ooh, it's got Skull Bash just like we do. We should add a Skull Bash battle. Actually, our Pokemon got uh, different moves. I replaced Skull Bash. I forgot on Blastoise with uh, Double Edge. No, that I'm sorry. On um, Snorlax. Should we... No. Razor Leaf has too high of a crit chance. Oh my god, that's all it did? Okay. But, you know, Blastoise for me is usually in a red, green, blue, fire red, leaf green, etc. The, the Pokemon that gets left on Professor Oak's table the rest of the game. So, I find it really cool, the idea that he would have the third starter and have trained it up. And for me, it would normally be Blastoise. I, uh, just to be fair, though, and Im not er, impart yeah, impartial, that's the right word, I put it into a random number generator and it came up with the Venusaur, or the Blastoise option, so. Wait, no, it technically came up with the Venusaur option. Oh, well, you know, it's too late. I cannot believe Blastoise was taken down by... I can't talk, can I? No, you can't. No. Oh, well. Oh, well, come on out! Windy! Draw me like one of your French girls. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, you know you gotta use it. What, Fissure? Yeah. No, no, no. I've learned my lesson on that. This is a level 69 creature. I would not do this against the real nice. thing. Use Fisher, come on. Give me one more turn. No, I, my Razor Leaf missed twice. Yeah, That's use it. Fisher. You're you're due for a fucking... I'm not chancing it. It has not been good to us so far. Uh, Snorlax's like special is terrible, so... Yeah. Okay. I had a feeling I'd survive, but just barely. But Snorlax has pretty good HP. Oh, that was it! Yeah. We beat Professor Oak, the super boss! Sort of. Well, that was fun. Now we have one more thing to do. I'm gonna go ahead and show you my Pokédex a little bit. We have 146 now. We're only missing five Pokémon. But there's one that Galen could have traded us that I haven't gotten yet. Right, you. And I want to do something I've never done before. This is our Beedrill, Cheater. I thought he, I was thinking he was a Caterpie. No, you can catch Caterpie in yellow because of um, Yeah, Ash. no, I was thinking he was a Caterpie, yeah. No, but yeah. Let's say goodbye. Because it's only fair, Galen gave us Cheater to help us cheat. But we are cheaters no more. We're swearing this off. In the future games, no more cheating. Ha ha. Well, the future main games. I'm <laughs> obviously going to cheat a little bit in red and blue. Well, not blue, because I might do something special with that. But, uh, I, I guess I can go ahead and talk about this. Uh, I might do a Nuzlocke for red, and a Randomizer for blue. I'm not sure exactly. we still got a while before I'm going to do that, so we'll see. For green, we have something very special. We are going to be doing an English... Is that term offensive? I've never seen people be offended by it. We're going to do a very badly translated ROM of green from Eww. India. It's the only English translation of the actual green ROM that exists. So I'm very excited. I don't think that the term is you is offens considered offensive when used in that context. <laughs> Pikachu, Pikachu. Well, let's see the difference between the two Pikachus, shall we? Okay, guys, let's check it out, because I've never actually done this before. We have Fabric. That's her voice. And... A regular Pikachu. It doesn't have her voice. Oh, that's actually real. That, I didn't know that. I thought, I, I I thought had it was a feeling. Just a, I thought it was a, just a default cry, like, it, like they did starting with X and Y. 
Uh, no. Huh. They uh, separate Red's Pikachu and traded in Pikachu. But we are going to get our final version exclusive Pokemon from Galen in the form of... The weirdest version exclusive in the entire series. What? Pikachu is evolving! Congratulations, you now have the most useless Raichu in the entire universe. I take that back, that's a level Raichu. <laughs> yeah, this is a good level 5. And I'm not going to show you all the Pokedex entries for all the Pokemon I evolved and all the version exclusive Pokemon, because that would just take forever. But this is the mouse Pokemon. When electricity builds up inside its body, it becomes feisty. It also glows in the dark. And while I tell you my next Let's Play, I have one final thing to do. By fan request. You don't from have enough. From Beast 315 Yeah, I do. Do you? It's level 26. Oh. I am going to speed this up. Sorry for the sound, but... Oh well, if you've watched this far, are you really going to click off in the last minute? Thank you, Beast 315 for telling me I should make Biscuit immortal and the most powerful Pokemon by making it level 100. I know you wanted me to put time and effort into actually grinding, but I'm sorry, I don't have the patience for that. At least I'm doing it. So I would like to give a shout out to Zalonic for all his wonderful comments and suggesting that I name you two Hormel. Shout out to Evan Williams for a bunch of obscure relations to the anime and... Just strange references I never would have thought about, like the, uh, uh, if you go check out my comments section, he left a ton of comments about why in-game trade Pokemon are named the way they are, like after a bunch of obscure famous people from ages ago. So thank you to Evan Williams. Thank you to everybody else who commented, and I can't think of your names right now. But, and thank you to Galen for joining us and playing along the entire series with us. I, yep, and I'll be back with every game. And, yeah, including uh, some spin-offs. At I'll least one spin-off. I'll be game. back with every game, um, and most of the time I'll be doing the same challenge as he is. Um, I intend... Wait, really? You're going to play along like red and blue? If you, once you play red, I do intend to Nuzlocke it alongside you. Oh, okay, sick. Um, I'm going to be using my own Nuzlocke rules, but... Well, I mean, I, I haven't decided exactly if that's what I'm going to do, but... If you Nuzlocke, I am going to hold you to hardcore Nuzlocking. Yeah. I'll do my best. So, no um, items in battle, level caps for gym leaders, and, um... Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, well, we could talk about that later. That's that's going to be a while uh, from now, because I'm doing that set on... Set mode. Yeah, no, definitely. I, I did promise... Uh, I, would I mean, do... I play normal Pokemon on yeah. set mode at this point. So. I promised the viewers I would do set mode for Pokemon Red already. But... That was in the comments, if you guys are confused and you missed that. Uh, my next Let's Play is actually another RPG. It'll be my fourth RPG on the channel, and I can't believe I'm doing two in a row. Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. And I... You thought I was bad at this game, maybe? I'm way worse at Super Mario RPG, which is shocking because it's a Mario game, but, you know, it's a, it's a little more complicated than your average Mario RPG. But in any case... Yeah, Biscuit... Super Mario RPG is more of a Final Fantasy game with Mario yeah. Mario assets. <laughs> oh, and uh, shout out to Biscuit for appearing in the Cerulean Cave episode while I was dog-sitting her. <laughs> but let's end on the final team, and uh, I will see you guys later for... Super Mario RPG and and I will I don't know when I'll be back but I know I'll be back with the next Pokemon game because every trainer needs a rival and uh, the rival and they need a rival to uh, where the fuck them. is wind up <laughs> where the fuck is wind up? hello uh well wind up got lost in the uh, the huh? data. Sure. This is the most comments I've ever gotten is on this series. The most views I've ever gotten. All so close to the actual release. So thank you everybody very, very much. And we will be back to this series in case you're watching far in the future when there's one or two more videos in the playlist. Because we still have that beach house to figure out on Route 19. But we have to beat a spinoff game first before we can do that. I'm probably going to cheat that in, but you know. Smell you later.
I'm LP Master Six.